G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. In this video we're going to be having a look at a few little tricks on how to do the 9 times table. These are a few little tricks mainly inspired because I've been teaching my own little kids at home uh, how to do the 9 times table and they've ended up finding it to be the easiest of all the times tables. I used to also was uh, when I was a kid mainly because of these two couple of tricks which I one of which I, I was shown when I was a kid, another one which I actually worked out by myself, which is a pretty obvious one as well, but maybe you haven't seen it. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to show you both these today. Number one of them is using your hands to actually uh, work out the times table. Another one, if you don't want to be sitting there counting your hands, is one where you can actually look at the number you're timesing by nine and immediately pretty much work out the answer off that. So I'm going to go through both of these uh, examples in this video. So the first one, is going to be the hands one and that's here's some hands I prepared earlier I'm not going to show my own hands my own hands are a little bit not not really the prettiest things that you ever want to see but these hands I've drawn here basically I've got my left hand and my right hand and I also have the thumbs on either side so the palms are facing towards me um, and we number these one two three four four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't have to draw the numbers on your fingers, by the way, but you might if that, that helps you. Uh, so anyway, how do we use this? Well, say you're going to do a question like three times nine. Well, let's count to the third finger. Okay, three times nine. So we count to the third finger, one, two, three, this finger here, and we'd fold this finger over. Okay? And then we look to the left, and then we look to the right of this, and we get our answer through this. So on the left, we have two fingers and on the right of our folded over finger we have one two three four five six seven fingers okay there's our answer 27 that's how this works it's not a it's, it's, it's a very very easy way of uh, working things out okay I'll go to a different example uh, I'll just get rid of that um, and let's do the example now I'll do a bit of a bigger number seven times nine. Seven times nine, nine times seven, same thing. Okay, so we fold this finger over and then we count the number of fingers on this side, which is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the numbers on this side of the folded over finger, three. The answer is 63. And that's the way you can use your hands to work out the nine times table. It works for all of them, right up to uh, even possibly if you were to say, um, what's 10 times 9 and you could look at it and then what you could do is you could say well you could fold this uh, thumb down I guess and then you could say on this side I have 9 fingers and I have no fingers on this side so the answer is 90 so that's the way it works and if you even have extra fingers I actually that will just confuse you so we won't we won't do that um, what we'll have a look at now is a different way that you can also do the 9 times table this is the way that I used to generally do it as a kid and this is where you, are, um, you use a number and to immediately can work it out. So I'll get rid of the, the hands I've drawn. And I'll show you how I used to work this out as a kid. Uh, I'll give you an example. Actually, I'll start this out by writing out a few of the times tables. So we have 1 times 9 equals 9. 2 times 9 equals 18. 3 times 9 equals 27. 4 times 9 equals 36. Okay, I'm not going to fit too many more in, so I, I, I won't try. I'll just move these there. And the way this works is this. I used to look, when I was a kid, I used to look at this number. The first thing I used to realise, is I used to realise that all the answers to the 9 times table added up to 9. So 9 is 9, but 1 plus 8 is also 9. 2 plus 7 also equals 9. 3 plus 6 also equals 9. And the same as goes, the next number is 45, that equals 9. In fact, any number you times by 9, funnily enough, you'll find that the answers actually add up to 9 or add up to a number that 9 goes into. And this even includes really, really big numbers. Okay, um, but first thing I noticed was that. But the second thing I noticed was this. So, say we have a 3 here. The way I used to do this as a, as a kid is I used to look at this and say, well, 3 times 9, the, the number under 3 is a 2. Okay, so the first part of my answer is going to be a 2. And I used to think to myself, well, because all answers that you times by 9 add up to 9, what number would I add to 2 to get 9? 2 plus 7 is 9, so the answer is 27. Okay, so this one here, the number before 4 is 3. 3 plus 6 equals 9. Our answer is 9. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a, another one here. Um, I'm just going to find my eraser. I'm losing the all the things on my screen at the moment. 
Uh, here we go, I'll just get rid of those and I'll write a, uh, a different one down. I'll write, say, something down like, uh, what about 8 times 9? So, we look at the 8 there. Next num our number under 8 is 7. 7 plus 2 equals 9. The answer is 72. Okay, and that works all the way right up to, uh, I guess, 10 times 9, where you could think of the, you know, the, the, you could think, well, 10 times 9. And you could say the number under 10 is 9, and 9 plus nothing equals, equals 90. Okay, there's our 9 plus nothing is 9, so our answer is 90. And that's the way I've always found the 9 times table to be really, really easy. I'm going to link onto this also a way of actually doing the 9 times table like any, not nine times table, dividing by nine instantly. And this is where you can actually divide really, really big numbers quite quickly using uh, just a little trick I have. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. Okay, see you later.